Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Ron Wallace here with Balling Down South Sports Network. I can tell you my next guest is no new beginner to winning. I can tell you he he played back, played football at North Carolina Central back in the 90s. Started coaching in 1999 at Chris High School in North Carolina as an assistant coach. After that, he's coached in the Sun Belt Conference, the Big South Conference, the SIAC, the MEAC, and definitely now the SWAC. He has one SWAC championship under his belt. He has four West Division SWAC championships under his belt. And ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Southern University football head coach, Dawson Odoms. How you doing today, coach? Oh, man, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Coach, it's been pretty good. Uh, how's the weather there in Louisiana right now today? Uh, look clear today, but, you know, past few days we've had some thunderstorms and a lot of rain, but today it looks pretty clear outside. Well, I know down over here in, in the Mobile region in our area, we had some tornadoes in the county yesterday, so it, it got a little scary. It hurt the horns going off and everything, but it's all clear sailing today. So, Coach, just talk a little bit about yourself, how when you start playing football in high school, going to college, and then getting into the coaching round. You know, I started at Crest High School over there in Cleveland County, North Carolina, and, you know, it's a, it's a football. It's a football factory. A lot of great players don't come out of there. A lot of coaches don't come out of there. So I left there and went to North Carolina Central University. I had a chance to be brought in by Bishop Harris, and I, I played for Larry Little. Uh, some of the best times of my life is right there on the campus of North Carolina Central University, a place that's dear to my heart. Uh, I really think between those two places, they really gave me a lot of intangibles that created the man that I am today. Uh, my coaching career, I've been a lot of places. Uh, uh, I started out in high school, then I went to Gardner Webb, which is right there in my hometown. And, and then from there, I went on to Georgia Southern, A&T, Clark, Atlanta, Bethune, Cookman, and back to a &T, And then you find yourself right here at uh, Southern University. I, I think the biggest thing about, about my journey is that, you know, I've been able to say no to some jobs, and, and then I've been blessed. I think, you know, I, I really believe in religion, and I think God has, has really been the difference maker in my life. And I wouldn't be here where I am today without that. And I'm sitting here as the head coach at Southern University, a little old country boy from some dirt roads. Uh, nobody could have wrote that story, but I think when you tell it, you give you a greater, it give me a greater understanding of, of, of my parents and where I'm from and, and my upbringing to be able to stay humble and just be thankful and grateful for every opportunity and blessing that's been blessed my way. And that, hey, that that sounds right like a righteous righteous man right there. So so since the pandemic has hit, uh, what have you guys been doing? You know, with the, with your players that's on your roster now, getting ready for this upcoming season right now. Uh, we call it TTF. You know, TTF. Really, TTFO has been our main thing. Trying to figure it out. So every day we're putting it together. We're gaining on it. Just just really going about business as usual. I think when they said we were going to play, we was really waiting on that announcement. Once we figured out we were going to play, then the next thing is when we were going to play. And then you work yourself backwards. So we know our first game is going to be September the 19th. Uh, we're trying to get to where we can get our players here and begin the working out. But we don't want to do it unless they're going to be safe. Uh, I think we want to do it for all the right reasons. And, and I'm really about the safety of our players and having an understanding of of what that's going to look like. We just got out with the staff meeting, just trying to figure out what this new age of football is going to look like in 2020 and going forward. So putting all those procedures in place and just making sure that we're dotting our I's and crossing our T's when it comes to the safety of the program. Well, last season you guys went 8-5 and five overall, 6-1 in the conference. <laughs> Went to the SWAC championship uh, where you guys lost against Alcorn State. What went into, you know, getting you guys through the regular season and then into the postseason and making it to the championship again? Winning the right games. Uh, you know, I think really when you look at the SWAC, it's, it's very, very challenging, very competitive. Uh, we, we won some road games. The ball bounced our way. We was in some close ball games. We were able to finish. Uh, our record could have easily went you know, the other way, but we was able to finish some games. I think leadership, teaching our guys a lot about leadership and just really having a good heartbeat of our program. Our offense played really well. Defense got going, and we really just came a complete team. And I think when you play as a team, uh, you should, you'll should you see that you're getting better week in and week out. And as long as we, were, long as we continue to do that each and every year, 
Uh, we're a lot better in October and November than we are in September. That's because our team continued to get better week in and week out. Now you got some. You got a couple of local players there. One in particular from the Mobile area, from McGill too. And you got Brandon Hinton. He's a red shirt junior for your wide receiver. Talk about how how it has been. You know, recruiting locally, uh, not too far from from Louisiana. Uh, what have uh, those type kids uh, brought to your program? Well, B. Hinton is you know unbelievable person first, uh, and I think. You know, him and Tamara Smith have been really, really good players for us that have come from that area. They're both transferred in. And, you know, I give them a hard time. And, but they're very communicative. They're they're just great young men. And that's what you want in your program. I tell people that all the time. Uh, give me some great young men that are willing to work hard and will find success. And, and they have some talent, so that helps as well. And we're just fortunate to be able to have those guys because, you know, they were at other schools, but they transferred to us and, you know, it's been it's been the story that they're writing for themselves. I think can only be written if they was at Southern University. Now, what what is basically your 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 coaching philosophy? What will for a kid want to come play for your program? What do you expect out of those kids? Well, I think you know the biggest thing is just understanding that we're a program that that we have zero negativity. Uh, I believe that that we don't use football as as a life lessons to teach life lessons we use football as an avenue to give great coaches an opportunity to teach young man life lessons uh, that's what we think about all the time we're going to be great mentors we're going to be a father figure if you don't have one uh, we're going to be a disciplinary program and when you look at our program i think everybody sees that and then we stick to our core values and we believe in commitment discipline effort mental physical toughness and pride and when you look at our program, that's what we're made of. And if you're going to be a part of it, uh, you're going to have to learn those core values. And you're going to have to adjust and adapt to who we are and what we are. And we've been pretty successful following that recipe. Now, any any big programs you guys got coming up on the schedule this year, you know, out of conference play, uh, you know, like like you guys played Memphis that one season, and uh, any, any other big teams like that you guys got on the schedule this season? Uh, not this year. Just the first time in, in – you know, in my coaching career at Southern University, we're not playing a mid-major or a power five at the beginning of the season, but we are. Uh, we're going to end up playing just a swag schedule. We had two non-conference games at the beginning, uh, and I think we do got a non-conference game maybe for homecoming, but uh, we canceled our first two games of the season. We're getting ready September the 19th. We opened up on the road in Huntsville at Alabama A&M, and they're going to be a good football team, and uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. Well, Coach, you know, your school is, is an HBCU. Uh, talk a little bit, you know, with young kids that may be watching this, that there's nothing wrong with going to an HBCU and what the HBCU uh, could uh, offer a kid. Well, what I try to tell people all the time, the opportunity is everything. And what you do with that opportunity is solely up to you, whether that's an HBCU, whether that's a PWI. Uh, my biggest concern as an African-American male is that African-American young males have a chance to go to school regardless where they said, have a chance to get a college education because I really think that's the only way that, that you can put yourself on a salary scale and be a productive citizen in society when it comes from economic development is to get you a degree. Uh, but not everybody is able to go to college and, and reach those opportunities. But if you have that opportunity, uh, HBCU can give you a platform to be yourself. HBCU give you a platform to teach you tradition and pride, but not only within the community, but outside the community. This world is not black. This world is not white. And at HBCU, we have to teach our young men how to coexist in a world that may not look at them as the same. But at the end of the day, I think we give a young men an opportunity and what you do with it is solely up to you. Uh, we just narrow that down to one motto. We call it HBCs, championships and degrees. And if you come to Southern University, that's what we're going to chase. That's what we're about. But you will find the best you at SU. Championships and degrees. I like the sound of that, Coach. I can tell you, yesterday, yesterday I, I talked with one of your, your rivals, uh, Grambling uh, head football coach, Coach Fobbs, yesterday. And uh, you guys always have, have that battle going on every year uh, down there in that Bayou Classic. Talk a little bit about how going up against a, a mastermind like he has in, in the football realm, just as much coaching as you have, uh, going up against his program. Well, you know, they're a well-coached football team. He's done a great job. Uh, you know, we talk off the field. Uh, we have some of the same beliefs. And, you know, we're about 
really the same thing when it comes to our team. It's about molding these young men. Uh, but when you talk about the Bayou Classic, there is no other classic. Uh, we're, we're the only classic that I would say that I've had a chance to be a part of, and I've been a part of some great ones. I've been a part of the Florida Classic with Fam and Bethune. I've been part of the Eagle Aggie Classic with uh, a and and Central. I've been part of the Clark Atlanta Morehouse. I've uh, been part of some big rivalries, but Southern versus Grambling, it has its own unique flavor. Uh, it's the only state where you can get multiple kinds of gumbo that's as soothing to the soul. Uh, if you want to, if you want a chance to really see something special, uh, seventy-two thousand is what they hold in the dome, and we almost sold it out last year. Uh, but it is just a remarkable event where two coaches get a chance to showcase their their programs to the world. And I really respect what he's done up there at Grambling, and it is an unbelievable game. Uh, because I really think both teams are ran by unbelievable people. Well, I can tell you this: every every season, uh, your team is definitely at the top of the list uh, dealing with football. Um, we're always hearing about Southern University doing something. Uh, you guys got anything new going on campus? Uh, dealing with any with your program, anything like that? I know you got you have some new coaches on your staff. No, we hired five new coaches. Uh, you know, I lost five guys, and when you win, you're going to lose lose coaches and you know you always want guys to be in position to be promoted and these guys were able to leave and you know they received some better opportunities and you know that's grateful that that we had a program here at Southern University that allowed those guys to grow and develop and reach greater opportunities for them and their families but when guys depart that means that creates an avenue for other guys to come in and, and that's what we really focus on got a new offensive coordinator uh, new wide right receiver coach, new tight ends coach, new old line coach, and and we also got a new safeties coach and special teams coordinator. So, all these guys are coming in. We're trying to gel together with the pandemic. We've been on uh, virtual learning for so long now. It's just it's, it's hard to build relationships. But at the end of the day, I think you got to have what I call slow thing down mentality during crisis. Don't speed up. Don't panic. Uh, focus on the things that you can control, get good at them. And, and that's what we try to do. And I think it starts with leadership. And, you know, I take a military approach to how we do things and it's worked for us so far. We don't plan on abandoning the ship no time soon. Well, uh, I know you are uh, looking at some of your, the history, Dad Southern. You guys have put quite a few guys in the NFL. We have. Uh, we actually have three Hall of Famers. Uh, we're proud of that. And I think that's that gives people an opportunity to see that you can go to Southern University and, and reach the, the highest level of football. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think we produce more quality young men. And that's something I can be proud of as a head coach. Guys that are leaving here, going out into the world, doing the right things, uh, representing the program still while they're, while they're in their adulthood, while they get married and having their children, they're still representing the program to the fullest. So. To me, that's what it's all about, is uh, teaching young men that, that their last name get longer when they choose Southern University, just letting them know and explaining that to them and just making sure that we be great teachers of, of society when they come into Southern University. They don't get a chance to play football very long. We got a few guys that had a chance to go on to the NFL, but they live a lot longer than they play football. So it's more important for me that they become quality young men once they leave Southern University. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Anything that you would like to say to to a kid there in their senior uh, season at high school, getting ready to go play football at, at the next level, and dealing with this pandemic, anything that you would you would you would maybe uh, say to those kids? Well, the biggest thing is you know don't get frustrated if the things have to change. Uh, uh, we may or may not play this year. We we're, we're anticipate playing, and it'll be disappointing. But at the end of the day, uh, you can't have no frustrations because it's something you can't control. Uh, I think sometimes we allow our wants to interfere with, with what's really needed to take place. And we don't want football to be a distraction for the for what's the real problems with going on in America today. Uh, and I think we have to all be mindful of that. And I think get back to what we call the new normalcy. It's going to be challenging, but at the end of the day, stay focused, stay positive. And whatever religion you are, keep it first. And I think at the end of the day, everything else will take care of itself. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Southern University head football coach Dawson Odoms. Thanks for coming on the network today, Coach. Always a pleasure to promote our program. Go Jags. <laughs>